So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I painted this dragonfly rock. So stay tuned. So to start off with, I'm going to draw out my design. Now I do provide the traceable for this over on my Patreon page. The link is down in the description. The traceables are free to everyone. You don't have to have, um, you don't have to be a patron to get the traceables. You do to get the um, additional video for the other Dragonfly Rock that I did. That one is a Patreon exclusive video. But it's only four dollars a month, and you get access to all of my all of my videos on Patreon. So again, like I said, I do have the traceable, but I encourage you to pause the video and draw this design out with me. That'll help you learn how to draw uh, if you if you do it with me. The tracing tracing the traceables will also help you learn how to draw but eventually you've got to do it yourself, right? So I encourage you to give it a shot on this rock. So I'm using a General's Charcoal pencil. Uh, that's just so you can see the design. Um, you can just draw this out in pencil if you want to. So now for the body segments, I'm using, um, uh, gosh, the word, escaped me teardrops shapes you can use ovals you can use bone shapes like I did in my other one for patron um, circles ovals rectangles whatever you want so now for the flower I'm doing kind of these wompy heart shapes but the design changes uh, a little bit so I would watch it and then pause the video and try to do it yourself. Um, but I do, I'm doing the, I want to make the petals look like they're curving. And I do the curves the wrong way. So I do go in and fix it. That's the way they should be. I want the tips of the petal to curve in. So to do that, you have to draw a line above that curve. So I have to fix that on some of my flowers. Or, sorry, some of my petals. And now I'm going in and connecting them all at the base. And for this, I'm just following the line at the bottom of the wing. And then doing some half circles here. And another like half circle kind of teardrop shape. And again, following the shape of the wing, the bottom shape of the wing. So now I'm outlining the I'm going to outline the whole design and I'm using copper. You could use worn penny. That's another one I really like to use. Copper and worn penny are probably my favorites. Um and I'm using a thick a thick line. I'm not trying to make this line thin and that's because I'm going to also outline this in black later on and I want the copper to peek out behind the black in areas. Now I have to keep dabbing my paint. The one thing bad about going over this charcoal pencil is that it absorbs into the paint and it lightens it. 
where if you used a pencil, it, it wouldn't do that. But sometimes, depending on the design, sometimes graph the graphite of the pencil lead can show through. But it's not going to show through on this design, so I'm not even worried about that. So I'm making these lines thick. Adding little antennas for this one. I did not do that on the, my other rock. So now I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. I know watching me trace this stuff out can be kind of boring. So I guess we're just going to quickly breeze through this part. So now I'm missing the part where I painted the flower white and that was just to put a base coat in there so that I don't have to compete with the black. So while I'm letting that dry, I'm going in and painting the inside of the wing segments with a hologram. It's Extreme Glitter by Folk Art and the color is hologram. But you could paint these whatever color you wanted. Purple would probably be really pretty. In my other rock that I did for patron, I did um, champagne was the color I used. And it usually takes a couple of coats to make sure you don't have any bare spots where you have no glitter. So, so now I'm going in with some, it's a green mica powder. And it looks, it'll wear off a little bit and it'll look better. It's kind of heavy right now. But I want the mica powder to go on top of the glitter and it just adds more dimension. Um, so I kind of blew it off a little bit and now I'm taking kind of a damp paintbrush and getting the mica powder off of the rock um, where, it, where it is spread. So now I'm taking, it looks, it's, this is a purple. Sometimes it looks a little blue in here. And I'm doing kind of a wet on wet blending technique where I want, I guess it'll be the right hand side to be darker. I mean, the, it is when the, when the bug is facing the right, that direction. Here it's the left side is darker and the right side is is lighter. We're just doing a blending technique here. So it's wet on wet and I'm just blending with my paintbrush and I'll take that second paintbrush, that yellow one, and that'll help me blend. It's just slightly damp but it has nothing on it. It's just a slightly damp paintbrush and it'll help me blend those edges. I'm just lightening up that left hand side. 
the key is not is to not add too much of the light color you just need a, a slight amount to blend it I kept putting too much so I have to keep going back and forth it's kind of hard when you're working in such a small area to not get too much paint But I just keep layering until I li until I'm I like it until I like the end result. Now the part you can't tell is that I am letting each layer dry before I start painting over it again. Otherwise, the, the paint will just lift. Now I've got to paint the head. I'm going to do the same thing. So now I'm taking some magenta and white and making a pink and I'm going to do the outer where the petal is folded up in this pink color. And now I'm taking the magenta. Magenta is very translucent, so it's going to take a couple of coats. But I'm going to do a darker uh, magenta in the center of the petal. You see I've got a lot of brush strokes, but as I add layers to that paint, it's going to smooth it out. Now I'm adding just a little bit of purple in the center. And I'm going to outline. Now I'm using a much thinner line for this outline. And I'm just being really quick with it. And that way I get hints of that gold showing through. I don't want to completely cover up the gold. But I'm going to outline my whole design. So now I'm taking my background color, which is the Apple Barrel Black. It's a 21148. It's a flat black. And I'm just cleaning up my, my edges. So now I'm taking the Folk Art Extreme Glitter in purple. And I'm going over the body segments with the purple. And even though I've... I'm going over Ooh, excuse me I'm going over what I've already painted the glitter uh, the binder of the glitter is clear so you are still going to see that gradient underneath that glitter now I'm signing it
I'm not done, but I'm just going ahead and signing the rock because I am going to paint the background. And I'm doing this in a black extreme glitter. So it's the same folk art extreme glitter, but this is in black. I'm going to do my whole rock and go, go by going around the design. Now see, I can go over my signature because it's not going to cover the signature. So now I'm doing the center of the petals I'm going over with, I believe it is Jelly Bean. And that is also an extreme glitter. So this rock's very glittery, um, but it's the extreme glitter in Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean Pink. Now I'm taking the extreme glitter in red and I'm going over the folded part of the petal. Now it always goes on white or real cloudy, but it dries clear. And here is both of the rocks I did to see the second rock. You can find that over on my Patreon page. It's just $4 a month and you get full access to all of my videos over there. The link is down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.